Hey guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I love when I spontaneously pick up the camera. I didn't know when I was gonna start this one, but I'm about to open a Princess Polly order. So I figured it'd be fun if we did it together since I'm about to just do it by myself. Love this setup. I also just did my makeup. You might've already seen the first impressions on my TikTok, but I'm really liking this gray. Like I have gray on my eyelids to match like the shirt, period. I feel really pretty right now, like, okay. So, I'm actually about to film. It's probably already posted my Princess Polly try on. Okay, so first I got some jeans. I pray that these fit. Okay, what size did I get? Oh my gosh, I haven't got a pair of jeans. 28? Isn't that like tiny ass waist? I did not order 28. I'm not a 28. If I fit these, I will be shook. Hey. Oh, I really hope they fit. So actually has a tear right in the butt cheek. <laughs> I haven't ordered jeans in so long and I feel like these would even be fire with this shirt. Like, mm. I'm actually going to dinner tomorrow with mom. So I figured that'd be cute if I brought the camera along to vlog that. So I'm definitely gonna wear one of these fits. I got some kind of just like nighttime dinner, like just like fall, winter vibes. I thought this was long sleeved. It's one of these type of shirts. I've always wanted one of these. I think they're really sexy and nice. It's actually pretty thick. I thought it was gonna be thin, like it's double lined, definitely. It's a bodysuit. This is cute. And I also bought these as outfits together. So all the pieces will like come together for a fit. Really excited about this one. I just have really been liking cool tones. Okay, this is the dress. Wow, it is totally see-through. Totally see-through. Hey. This is really pretty though. I could, what am I putting under this? Isn't this really nice? Oh, it's like vacation. This reminds me of like 5 a.m. on vacation. Like when you walk to the beach. Oh, stunning. So I also got this shirt. Some of this stuff looks so different in person. I don't like remember getting this. It's like kind of just like a mesh, strappy, black. You know, a classic piece. If you guys want, just ask below if you want like the link to anything. Okay. So cute. I'd like personally order this one because it didn't make the cut, but I really like this one. I feel like I could definitely get a lot of use out of this. My favorite color is orange, so anything warm, like orange, I think is so pretty. Okay, so I got this little formal dress. Cute, 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 cute. I really do like Princess Polly though. This is our second time collabing together, but I really like their stuff. I feel like the price point is like just right. Maybe a little too expensive, but like you're getting good stuff. Okay, so I got a cute, just plain denim zip black skirt. And this looks a little wide, but denim does not fucking stretch. <laughs> this is gonna be a good staple. I was actually looking for one the other day. I was like, I don't have a black skirt. The only black skirt I have was like a freaking pencil skirt from like sixth grade. Oh wait, I think I did get accessories, but it goes in the shoe box. This is the only one that came in plastic, which I'm confused because they are like um, environmentally friendly with their packaging. This is just like dirt, recycled dirt bags, like literally, which I love. Okay, oh, so I got I got this one last time in the try on haul, but in like a cream. And I really like this one, so I got another one. I really like how the sleeve cinch. It's just thin enough. It's not like too bulky like a turtleneck, which I love. Okay, and I got some shoes. Please tell me if there's accessories in here. I don't remember if I got accessories, but I'm sure I got a pair of glasses. Please, did I get those glasses? Yes! 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Oh my gosh, go Monet. Go Monet. Oh my God, and this matches my look like perfectly right now. <gasps> Please tell me they're good. Yes. Yes. You said what? <gasps> this is my look. This is my look. Like, oh, am I rewearing this whole thing tomorrow? I'm so happy with these. It's the way they curve like perfectly against my face. They fit really nice. I love these. So they had the blue undertone and I'm pretty sure they had another undertone, but these are, 
these are perfect these are perfect i'm so happy like i couldn't remember if i ordered them or not i'm so happy okay and then the heels i got did i size up these look kind of big yeah i got a size 10 i'm usually a size 9 but recently my feet have been hurting so bad in heels that one i needed to get like a regular pair that i could actually wear so these are a good skin tone one square toe good platform good support that i could actually wear with a like any color because it matches my skin tone so yeah and these are these will be cute for the outfits i'm so hyped about those glasses like <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do right now and i'm gonna do the princess polly try on haul for today i'm chilling for the rest of the day though let's see this week today is thursday i didn't even say that yeah nothing crazy planned for today yesterday was very productive yesterday i would not even have picked up the camera i edited like oh i edited, oh my gosh i did so much yesterday tomorrow me and mom are gonna go hit the city just go on a little date together so i'm excited for that saturday i think we're going out and then next week i think i might hit new york again so for an event for a friend who just launched her brand like period yeah welcome to the vlog guys hopefully that was fun opening those things together definitely like doing it better with you than by myself like yay <laughs> hey boo boos so i decided i'm gonna wash my brushes i'm actually gonna take my rings off because i don't want them to get messy but just a few of like my everyday brushes, I'm gonna wash them. Sigma sent me some stuff to make it lit to clean your brushes. So came with this just brush cleaning pad. So you slide it on your hand like D. Then you take some brush shampoo. So I'm gonna wet the brush first. I'm gonna take a dirty one. I'm gonna take this one. Crusty. So I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna put the shampoo on here. Nice little foam. And then you just swirl it like this, and this just like breaks down all. Look how clean that looks already. I love seeing it go down the drain. I'm sure it's like an oil based inside the shampoo. I used to use literally Dawn soap, antibacterial like soap. It does the job just as well. I'm trying not to spill it everywhere and also show you at the same time. I don't know how often you're supposed to clean your brushes. You know, I was watching Jackie Ina one time. And she was like, I wash my brush. I wash my, all of my brushes every single time I do my makeup. I was like, uh, am I supposed to be doing that? Because I don't, I don't have enough time and I don't care enough. <laughs> so that's, the brush is literally brand new after two rinses. That was fucking easy. Maybe I'll set you guys up for like a little time lapse or something. Yeah, this is my um, <laughs> contour, wow, contour bronzer. Oh my gosh, so much is coming out of this one. Oh my gosh. Look in the actual sink. Lord. All right, so I'm done for now. Look at all this PR trash. I'm about to walk it out to the garbage can. I gotta get back to some emails because I just like avoided my emails all day. <laughs> and management is like, hey girl, um, hello? Good morning. Today's Friday. I don't remember the days anymore. November 5th. Don't you guys feel like the time is flying recently? Like, wasn't I just having a hot girl summer? Like. Anyway, I wanted to show you, it's actually so cold, like, excuse my nips, bro. I need to grab a jacket. But I just made my coffee, and I'm gonna show you what I put in it, cause I want to. So I've been loving this oat milk. Honestly, whatever my mom gets, I just rock with. This one's pretty good though. Um, is this flavored? No, it's just original planet oat milk. Now listen, it's scientific the way I make my coffee. We need two tablespoons of that. And I used to just do three tablespoons of that and call it a day, but like, I've been wanting a little more richness in my life. 
were my choice, this would be hazelnut or something more like fall vibes. Like, I, I don't know. I've been loving watching Emma Chamberlain. Her videos recently have been so good. Like, if you guys watch her stuff, I'm like, yes! She makes me want to just, like, eat fresh shit and, like, everything she does, she makes me want to do. Like, everything she does. <laughs> just... Anyway, she, ha she got, like, a pumpkin creamer for her coffee and it just like I could just taste it and I was like mm, maybe I do want some of that but for now we have French vanilla I put one tablespoon of that because I don't like hella creamer in my stuff like a lot of people be putting like 90% creamer 1% coffee um, and then I take this torrid now listen we're out of all the good stuff I don't know why I'm showing you this coffee routine because we don't got any of the good stuff right now but usually we have the hazelnut one um, we just ran out with the we just ran out of the pumpkin cheesecake one like so we're going with salted caramel, like, boring. So I do one tablespoon of that. And the last ingredient, <laughs> I like to put salt in my coffee. My mama put me on, I don't know. I don't know when or why or how, but like it really adds like a richness and like another tone to your coffee, like salty, sweet. Like it's kind of like a chocolate covered pretzel type vibe, you know what I'm saying? So don't knock it till you try it. It has to be the Himalayan pink salt though. You can't do no like table salt. Um, good like electrolytes and stuff, unless you're watching your sodium. I got a lot of my work done this week. I was exhausting myself every day, like beginning to end. And I basically got like everything I needed to get done, done. So I can have a chill fucking moment like today. Only plans I have on my schedule today are just to get ready for dinner later with mom. Um, I think I'm gonna get ready on, on TikTok live. So if you guys watch me there, hey, cause you're probably seeing this after. I think I'm gonna do like a mommy daughter day, mommy daughter date. Cause I used to do the mommy daughter day series, which would probably be cute just to bring it back. Cause I haven't had mom on my TikTok in a while. Um, but I'll definitely bring the camera to dinner. Cause that's just more chill. But in between then, I'm vibing today. I really just want to lay in bed. I might show you me blow drying my hair. Cause I got this new tool. And I washed it last night, so it's clean and it's still damp. Oh my god, my hair looks so shiny! <gasps> I'm so excited to do it. <laughs> Why is it flashing zero? <gasps> no memory left? I just panicked and turned off the video. <laughs> no, not me panicking and turned off the video. Why is it blinking zero M? Zero memory? Does that mean like I have no more SD card? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, first of all... Miss Lola just sent me this big ass box, like so big. And I just opened it and in it was this bag, huge bag, this cowboy hat. I'm like, what is going on? First of all, it actually fits my enormous head. So I'm like, I might have to wear a cowgirl hat. First of all, let me get the tripod because I just be trying to prop my phone up on anything when I have a tripod. bag in it first glance two pieces of denim holy shit oh this is actually kind of fresh this is a cute crop oh my gosh and it's like it's like worn denim like you know it's not stiff denim it feels like it has a good movement to it i feel like all i do is open packages on, on my vlogs are you guys sick of it oh my cute what the heck this Am I a southern kale girl? Cause, <laughs> um, this is cute as fuck. Let me, <laughs> let me take this hat off. This is actually so cute, man. Um, okay. Let's see for the jeans. I didn't, she didn't, I didn't make this order. Okay, so this is just a size large. And honestly, y'all, this is a really nice boot cut jean. I'm actually gonna throw it on over these leggings. So I feel like it'd be cute, like if a little boxer was showing. And I'm pretty sure these are the same color denim. I hope these fit. Because uh, I got unlucky with the Princess Polly ones. <laughs> Why do these fit? Why do these fit so good? Oh, they're kind of low rise. These are probably the lowest rise jeans that I have. That's why I feel like it's kind of cute when the boxers are out. The bottoms are kind of long. But then that gives me a reason to wear heels with them. You guys, what the heck? 
<laughs> this is exciting. Okay, I really like this jacket. So she sent me another, oh my gosh. These are heel <laughs> cowgirl boots. I don't know what Miss Lola is on with the Southern stuff. I don't think I'll ever wear these because it's just really not my vibe, cowgirl boots. But who knows, I'll be like Jesse from Toy Story one year. Oh shit, look at these. Look at these. I have a pair of like boots like this, except they're like a gray undertone. These are more like a pink undertone and they have the detail right here, which is fire. That's so fresh. Cause I didn't order this and she just knows my sizes and like my vibe. Helena, you're that girl. Okay, these heels are really cute. I know me and mom are gonna be busting these out. And I'm trying to pick an outfit for dinner tonight. What? What? <laughs> Can you literally send people alcohol? Am I gonna get her in trouble? Are you allowed to do that? Not the, what is the vibe? Of, am I missing like the, is this, is there like a movie dropping? Like a Western like, okay, how about, okay. <laughs> how about I read the card? It was only at the bottom though. To, rot, to our ride or die. Oh my God, that's so cute. Saddle up. Miss Lola's here to bring the booties the booze and the damn good time. You're a trailblazer, a bona fide babe. We just know you're gonna look so good in our latest fall collection. Okay, so this is our fall collection. We're giving Yee Yee Western, Miss Lola. And I have a code, I'll put it on the screen. So I don't remember off the top of my head, it's either Monet 20? I think it's Monet 20. This was really fun to open. I have to do a post on Instagram for this, or like a story. This whole, this whole package was a main character, like, I'm gonna say like the jean jacket did its thing. The pants actually fit like really good. I think it, all jeans like make my ass disappear anyway. Let me know. I already opened. I opened the Princess Polly in this freaking video too. Are you guys sick of me opening packages? I just feel like it's fun to do together. Like I'm just about to blow dry my hair. That's why you see it's out right now. I just took it out that bun. I'm gonna use this T3 thing. So yeah, I'll most likely see you later because I'm gonna go on live for my makeup and stuff. So. <sighs> that was really fun. Thanks, Ms. Lola. Honestly, this is like our first grown date. Yeah, I think so. Well, actually, no. I was thinking the last time we did was LA, NARS, the first oh. night at the London, but that was like That's so fun. That's a whole fun. other level, though. Yeah, that was a whole other level, but it yeah. was still fun as shit. But just like us being here, trying to think. I mean, not really. We do a lot of brunches. This is cute. Yeah. Girls, night out. The sun just set. Vibe. Mom didn't tell me where we're going yet. Nope. <laughs> I know it's at Live Casino, so I'm sure it'll be nice. A nice yep. little vibe. Mm -hmm. So this is the look. I gotta show you Mom's look when we get out. Um, she's wearing a really cute Zara dress and my Miss Lola heels. Mm -hmm. I got Princess Polly on the dress and I got a Zara jacket on. Um, the shades though, you guys. I know you'll probably saw this on the gram already, but this is not, I just feel like someone's hot mom when I wear these like, <laughs> oh. I'm actually not starving right now, which is good. I feel like right when we sit down, I'll be like hungry, hungry. Cause we both ate kind of late, right? Yeah, it's like one. Wait, not copyright. Oh. Y'all, I'm new to this. I can't play any music in the background. This is the second time I did this. <laughs> we do it. I was just saying, we're going to dinner now. Mom's taking me basically on a date. Well, we're taking each other on a date, but she picked the location and she didn't tell me where we're going. So I feel like she's the boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she got the pants on. I wouldn't surprise you. I really hope you like the venue. I'm sure it'll be bussing. I trust yeah. you. And all I know is it's Asian cuisine, so I'm excited. Yeah. <gasps> Asian fusion. I'm gonna get, oh wait, is that what it's called? No, 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 that's oh. not cuisine. You know, it's like a more modern flair to like Asian dishes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I'm excited, I'm gonna order like everything because Asian food is light. Like if you do it right, I'm gonna yeah. get a few appetizers. And you're not loaded the next day. Yeah. Unless you get ramen for me at <laughs> least because I'd be puffing up. But ramen is so good. Oh, gas lights on. Mom. <laughs> She's living so ghetto and reckless right now. I'm living on the edge. She literally has like one mile left. I got 60 miles left. But the gas tank, the light is on. That's just so... Mm. 
we'll touch base when we get to dinner. Oh, I gotta look cute. <laughs> this lighting is good. Um, okay, Miss Girl. Dinner was cute. I think I'm gonna work on giving like closure. <laughs> they were kind of fire. We was kind of eating. This girl. Oh, not the Halloween shit. I just need to geek a little bit because Aaliyah, Aaliyah's face. If you guys have watched any of my vlogs, I talk about this girl all the time because I love her. She follows me on Instagram and she commented on my posts. <sighs> Now listen, I gotta stop being a weirdo because 
listen, we're on friend status now. We're on friend status. I got I can't be a fangirl friend. I gotta keep it listen. Oh yeah, I've seen your YouTube. <sighs> she followed me on TikTok. She followed me on TikTok like two, three weeks ago. Which I already shit myself for that one. And I was like, okay. Well, TikTok's my biggest platform, so I'm like, okay. Like it's not that personal. Like maybe she just like I don't know, I just feel like it's not as personal. <laughs> Cause it's like a bigger platform. She commented on my TikTok once and was like, ooh, love the blazer fits. And I was like, oh my god, not her actually watching my shit. Um But Miss Girl commented on my Instagram post and I didn't realize she followed me. I don't know when she followed me. <laughs> Stop, I'm being weird. I doubt, I doubt she's watching my weekly vlog. I doubt it. But Miss Girl definitely inspired me to make weekly vlogs. She she inspired me to buy skims. <laughs> she is a heavy influence in my life. So anyway, I'm just geeking a little bit. So I'm gonna take this shit off. Um loved the look for tonight. I'm just gonna vibe and I'll just be editing for the weekend and chilling because I just wanna chill. That's it for Friday, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, queens. So, this is how we're living. You know, it's currently 3 p.m. I realize I always check in at 3 p.m. on the vlogs. It's weird. It's like I have this weird, like, mental thing where it's like, okay, 3 p.m., let me check in. I didn't check in this morning because, honestly, I didn't do anything besides edit the last weekly vlog and it's rendering now y'all hear my laptop about to explode this is the second weekly vlog so this one i'm getting the hang of it y'all it's taking less time to edit it and get my shit together because i know it needs to be done like a really good tip that gabriel actually told me was i would edit my videos from the sd card in plugged into my laptop so that's like horrible in so many ways because i don't know if i'm explaining it right let me just show you actually because I want to show you. This is what I use to transport the footage from my SD card to my laptop. So I would plug this into my laptop and then I would take the footage from the SD card, this extension, and I would be editing through this basically. So that connection from your computer is very slow. Very slow and that's why it took me so fucking long the first time. Like. This converts it like two times. Gabriel was just telling me all the tea and I was like, oh, I didn't know. Like, it basically is just using your laptop processor and like directly taking off the SD card versus now I'm doing it off of my hard drive, my external hard drive. This one is from the brand Lacey. This is like a pretty iconic brand. And this has its, a processor inside of itself. Listen, I'm not no fucking genius. I'm just saying what I think I know. <laughs> But I can feel the fan in here going and like it's processing. It's not using my laptop's processor as like the main source. Oh my god, does anyone care? I'm gonna just tell you really quick. So basically you just transport your SD footage straight to the external. Then if you edit from the external, it's way more convenient. And it's just like little things like that that you don't know, that you learn along the way. So it's a lot faster doing it that way because there's more storage there. I got two terabytes, it's about like a hundred bucks for that thing, but very much worth it it's the bang for me like what the hell is this bob um there you go let me look a little more presentable because why not my hair is done let me just flex it so the moves for today i actually have a makeup by mario can i actually flex really quick guys makeup by mario's team reached out to me september when i went to the nars trip and they were like hey we would love for you to come to like the, the studio and like do a content day for like the brand <laughs> That flashing zero was zero memory. I was like, why is it saying zero memory? But like, there's no way I'm full. Actually, I am. The storage is full. <laughs> so I'm going to film on, the, on my phone today. Shouldn't be anything crazy. I just want to finish my story really quick. Um, so Makeup by Mario reached out and wanted me to come to the studio. Um, but I ended up being in LA for NARS the same time. So I was like, no, I can't come. I was like, I wish I could just do everything. And I was so sad because I was like, dang, I missed my opportunity. My mom's like, don't worry about it baby like you'll be fine like they'll reach out again i'm like no they won't <laughs> little did i know you know they reached out for pr and i was like okay period so they actually emailed me like a couple days ago she's like hey girl mario loves you like mario <laughs> like would love for you to come to the studio and just like do your face makeup by mario kim kardashian's makeup artist you guys makeup by mario the ceo of makeup by mario ceo of mbm his own makeup line like celebrity makeup artist 
icon legend oh my gosh i was just like what the f hmm? <laughs> what like he really wants me that bad that he literally is inviting me like personally after i already couldn't come to the first one i thought i was done for i was like dang he'll find anyone else <laughs> like i was just sick i missed my shot and like the fact that they reached out again i was just like no fucking way <laughs> so with all that being said um we're also doing a partnership together for like sephora makeup by mario look so excited so i'm waiting for the package right now because it's due monday and today's saturday and i'm going out later so i'm like i'm gonna film it before i go out so that i can like have my makeup done and i can film at the same time so i'm like hello it's almost like 4 p.m like where is this package they told me they were overnighting it so i'm just like on the lookout right now so i'll be filming that i'm really excited about that <laughs> um i just can't believe that it's so exciting it's such a fucking honor like to be invited to his studio to fucking hang out and do makeup i'm like ah! so like i said i might be going out later with the girls to the same bar we went to in the last um vlog i really told myself i wasn't going back there just because it's like this is my childhood town and like i just can't wait to get out of it and like seeing all the people from high school and stuff is kind of weird for me because like i don't know it's just weird i haven't seen you guys in years and like i just want to be somewhere else i just I don't, know. I don't know that's how i feel like some people like want to stay they're like i'm never leaving this town and i'm like <laughs> oh i hate vlogging on my phone when i miss my camera so it's later in the day i just did my nails you guys <laughs> so the last vlog for halloween don't they look so clean and pretty but i was abusing my nails with the press-ons for a while and they just needed a break and i was just keeping them natural um so i figured if i was rocking the natural for a little bit they they're not doing them justice on camera i swear they look cute <laughs> yeah i was like i want to go to the nail salon today but i actually got sent some stuff from madam glam these gel polishes and this is the one that's currently on my nails it's like this really pretty pink but it's actually like an orange undertone which is like just my vibe nice little peach natural color and then it comes with this UV, this baby little UV that does the job. It just broke my switch out and I want to play some Animal Crossing. This was my quarantine bay. I actually have a whole entire YouTube channel for Animal Crossing. But there was a new update if you guys play Animal Crossing. Hey, I haven't had time to pick up my switch in so freaking long. So I'm so excited. Yay, look at Tangy. Y'all, I'm a gamer at heart for real. That's what I'll be doing right now. I'm watching Arnell's vlogs. Isabel! I decided I want to be a and little fatty really and stay in tonight. I don't know. I just was not feeling it. Um, all the clubs are closing. All the like pubs and bars and shit are closing at 1 p.m. And it's like 10 p.m. right now. And I just feel like I don't feel like doing my makeup. The makeup by Mario package never came. Let me pause. The makeup by Mario package never came. I feel like that was that was what was driving me to go out because I was gonna have my makeup done. Then I was gonna go out. I don't feel like doing my makeup now. And it's like 10 p.m. So we got some wings and fries. <laughs> That's the vibes tonight. See you tomorrow. Hands down the best weekend I've had in so long. I've been in the same clothes. Um, I didn't make my bed. I didn't leave my bed. It's almost 5 p.m. I just played Animal Crossing for the past like three hours with my little siblings on FaceTime. They live in California and that reminds me I'll actually be seeing my dad this week. I'm so excited. Him and the kids live in California and I usually visit them. So he'll be in town this week so we're gonna catch up on Wednesday so you guys get to meet him this vlog. Um, and hopefully you can meet my siblings, my little siblings soon. I'm planning to make a trip out there, like, winter break, so. But they're my babies, I love them. And we connect on, we love playing video games. We went through this Fortnite phase, all quarantine and Animal Crossing. Like, that's all we played all day, every single day. So this was just, this just made my inner gamer so happy. It's been six months, my villagers were mad at me. They're like, where have you been? And I mean, the only other thing I did today was process the weekly vlog. It started at 9 a.m. this morning and it's still uploading. It's almost 5 p.m. It's at like 85%. Like, this shit takes so long. But I'm so excited for it to go up. I hope you guys like that one, the Halloween weekend. 
That one was fun. So this is where I'll be for the rest of the night. I'm so happy. <laughs> Maybe I'll touch base later when I decide to be productive just a little bit because I haven't opened any school thing, like anything school related, <laughs> honestly all week because it wasn't necessary. I got like all my shit done and like I don't really have any tests for a minute, so. You guys see the screen? I want to flex my island really quick. It's actually kind of cute. You know views. You know views. Lots of love up in this island. The marketplace, you know. Check this way. These are neighborhoods. All my villagers' houses and stuff. All ten of them. This way is the crib. This is where I stay, you know, the queen. Yay! But honestly, if any of you guys really play, I actually have an Animal Crossing YouTube. That's that was my first endeavor. Actually, no, that was my first like try hard moment on YouTube. And you know, we we're kind of popping there. So if you want an island tour, check out. Um, I don't even know if I want to name drop. If you really want to know, comment. If you really want to know, comment. Then I'll let you know. But I'm good for today, y'all. Bye. <sighs> I just got back from school. Today sucked <laughs> so fucking bad. Oh my god. The one plus honestly today was that my mask matches my shirt and I actually looked half presentable for school. It was the first time ever, honestly. Like even putting on the shirt, like it really doesn't take that much and it looks like I know how to take care of myself just a little bit. Cause I'd be looking like a fucking raggedy bomb at school. My energy is on like zero right now. It's funny, like I know looking back at this editing, I'm gonna be like, who the hell did I think I was chilling like that this weekend? I really missed it though, I really did. I don't think, it, I don't know if it was worth it at this point because everything literally like, I can't afford to do that. <laughs> I wish I enjoyed it more while I was being lazy, which I really did enjoy it, but like, I wish I enjoyed it more because Right now I'm regretting it so bad. I feel like everything just like hit at once. And the worst part about feeling overwhelmed, basically I'm just like super overwhelmed with the school workload. Absolutely insane. Like me taking this weekend off from studying like fucked me up. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. <sighs> and I always get all my work done Monday and Tuesday and like Wednesday so that like Thursday, Friday, Saturday I can do what I want and stuff. Um, and I could have swore that I hit all my checks. Like I'm always, I'm always on my shit. So I was just confused when I woke up this morning and there was like two assignments I didn't do. And they're all usually due Sunday night. So I'm like, I always get them done. So I don't ever check my canvas or like, I don't check my school stuff until like Monday morning when I get to school. I'm like, okay, like, let's see what's up for this week. But I missed like a huge proctored assessment, huge one. I don't know how the hell, actually I do know because the teacher did not mention it once. Like, wow, no heads up in class, no heads up in the email, like. So I ended up doing it, but hopefully I get credit for it. It's a big part of the grade. Oh my God, I'm just so, I'm just drained right now. Like, and I'm just really sad. Cause all I wanna do is just not do anything, especially after being at school all day. Like when you get home, like you don't wanna keep doing school, but. I'm gonna have to just take notes and fill out this blueprint because the next test for this class is insane. I'm like, was Animal Crossing worth it yesterday? So let's see, this is the class I have a test on. Let me show you how many notes. These are how many notes. I don't think you understand how much paper that is, handwritten notes. This is all that's on the next test and I'm like scared for my life. That is all the, all the content on the test that's on Monday. Can I afford to go out Friday and Saturday this weekend? I think I might have to scratch one of them. Why is there a fly in my room? Like, that it? Like, you're so gross. Please! I don't, I don't have the energy for this right now. Oh my god, I actually got him. <laughs> anyway, I also want to say, <laughs> if you guys watch my nursing study tip video, um, it's so funny because I was flexing my psych notes. I love them. 
and then my coffee spilled all in my book. I mean, I really lucked out with how it spilled, but like, this book was so beautiful. I really like, from the first page, I made it so crispy clean. Everything was just so organized, and now it just looks so crusty and ugly. Today was just not my day. My laptop was bugging for the test this morning. Like, we actually ended up having the test this morning. I did horrible on it. Like, I just feel like shit right now. I just feel like a shitty student. I forgot my assignments last night. I fucking did horrible on the test. I have a huge ass test coming up this week. I feel like I'm not prioritizing my time right right now. It's it's not it's not always as balanced as it looks. Girl, so, like, I'm really just winging it and hoping for the best most of the time. And, like, really just trying to set myself up for success. But it's not perfect all the time. Ooh, right now I'm really hurting. I'm really going through it, Ms. Girl. So, I'm gonna just be a pity party today. And... I mean, I have school all day tomorrow. That's That Tuesday all day at clinical really throws me off. Because Monday is what, like, fires up the week. And then Tuesday, I can't do anything. It's like, I already know what's waiting for me when I get home. Can you fucking die? Just know I'll just be doing hours of work. I'm having a pity party right now. I'm so... <laughs> I don't know how this happened. Last night, I did a good little 360, you know... I felt a lot better after I ranted to my mom because we both like felt the same way at the same time yesterday. She vented to me <laughs> and then I vented to her and it was just really healthy. We both just like got off our chest and was like, okay, well, you know, we're not going through this alone and we can definitely handle it. We just gotta. And then I blasted my music. I was vibing last night, like, I don't know what the fuck was coursing through my veins, but, like, the music just saved me. I was living. 9 in the morning, I woke up at 8.30. Well, at least I tried. I was, like, cross-eyed. When my alarm went off, I was, like, you know when you wake up, like, you can't get up, dude. You know, but right now, looking at some PowerPoints. That's all I'm gonna be doing, like, all week because I want to go out Friday and Saturday, I do. I don't have time. Like, I really want to just do my makeup. I also got... A Pat McGrath package yesterday. <gasps> oh my gosh, I want to do my makeup so bad. Um, I also got a makeup by Mario package yesterday, and I'm like, can I do my makeup? So maybe I'll do that tonight, like after clinical. So I have to leave at one. So I'm gonna try to just get all of my blueprint done. Maybe later, because I really want to do makeup therapy. I really do. Hey guys, so we're on the way to clinical now. Not late today. Not late today. <laughs> I swear, if you guys watched the first weekly vlog, I was late like all the weeks before and like two weeks after that. This is like the, I don't know why I couldn't get the timing down. Every week we would change like our meeting time because my teacher is bomb and she'd just be flexible. So say we're meeting at two, which works for me because then I can just leave at one because it's 45 minutes away. You know, that makes sense. And it works with my like lunch schedule because I eat at 1230. In terms of homework this morning, I got so much done. Well. Not what I was supposed to get done, but I did get a big chunk done. I still have so much more to do. And also on top of that, I have like seven projects in the work, which I feel like I can't really do because I really want to just focus on school right now. Like another one was clocked in today to be due Friday. Then I have two due on Thursday. And then I'm going to do a personal one. I want to do like a personal one for my page. And I also want to do a YouTube video. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out how I can squeeze all that in. I feel like this is the moment people are like, how do you balance nursing school and social media? And I'm like, you know, I just like to be organized and prepared and just get all my work done early. I say those things. And I haven't really felt like it wasn't possible. But right now I'm feeling like I feel all the stress and pressure of everything. And like, I don't know how I'm going to get what I want to get done for social media this week. And I feel like every week is important. Ooh, I'm hitting 90 right now. It feels like I'm going so slow. Anyway, wish me a wish me a good day. Is that what, <laughs> is that what you say? Wish me a good day. Oh, the vlog camera looks so much better at night than the phone. <gasps> Guys, oh my gosh. I, I'm so excited to share these good vibes right now because first of all, I love clinical. Like if you watch my other weekly vlog, I always freaking say this, but I'm, I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm gonna say like, cause I'm just I'm just gonna assume that you guys know. 
I'm just gonna assume that you guys watch my other stuff. <laughs> I did my, my clinical rant on the way home and I just always leave feeling so good. Like, it's amazing. I really like this group of girls. Like, it's six students and then one teacher and the teacher is just such a vibe. She's so freaking nice. Um, she's just a really personable person. She's funny. Like, she makes teaching fun. Like, uh, like I, I don't know why. I just have such a good time. <laughs> so, and also, I'm just like the problem child of the group. So it's just funny, like, when they just pick on me and shit. Because, like, we can all just, like, laugh about it and have fun. But let me tell you, because your girl did some fucking nurse shit today. Oh my God. Every time we go to clinical, you learn something new. Uh, and if you don't know, clinical is like when you go to the hospital, it's literally a class for in nursing school. And you're assigned a hospital and you have to go there every week. And you spend about like seven hours shadowing a nurse, like with the girls on the floor. So like, I'm just glad that we have good nurses, good classmates, like it's fun. I can just walk around and like see what other people are doing. And today, oh my God, your girl did a fucking straight calf. I did a straight calf. For you guys don't know, a catheter basically is like a flexible tube and you use a catheter for IV, you use it for like peripheral catheter, central lines, like it's a flexible tube that you can use to draw fluids or administer fluids. And a straight cath is like for your bladder, whenever someone can't urinate, you help them by literally sticking like a flimsy straw, like a rubber straw, it's probably the best way to describe it, into their bladder and you drain it and then you just pull it out. So a straight cath is you just put it in, you drain it and you take it out. An indwelling catheter, ooh, hold up. Woo, the ops is blinding. Woo, that is, a, that is the brightest cop car I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. So basically, yeah, an indwelling catheter is when you administer the straw and you leave it in there and it just drains and you just leave it in for however long. So I did a straight cath today, you guys, and I honestly don't remember ever seeing this procedure done, like even in the textbooks and like, I just remember hearing about it, you just learn about it, but like, I've, I don't remember seeing a tutorial about it. I don't remember seeing the teachers explain it. Like some things you just don't ever get to see. <laughs> so the teacher was like, you. And I was like, my heart just sank. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. Like I would have been relieved if she picked someone else. Part of me was just like, I know I want to do it, especially with this great ass teacher. Like, especially something like this. I want to do it, but at the same time I was nervous. I was like, I wouldn't mind if she picked someone else, but I knew it. She fucking picked me. <laughs> so I was like, she was like, do you want to do it? And I was like, I do. I was like, but I'm scared. I was like, can you just tell me, tell me right now before you go in the room, just tell me what's going to happen. Just tell me what we're going to do. And then, you know, we can just do it when we get in the room. So she was like, okay, it's a sterile procedure, you guys. So there's aseptic technique and sterile technique. So aseptic is like, it's clean, um, but it doesn't really, it's not really that deep. Like, and there's sterile where it's like, you cannot get bacteria anywhere. And the bladder is a sterile field. So you can't, that's why you like UTIs and stuff. You, you're not supposed to have bacteria in your bladder versus your stomach is great at breaking down bacteria. So like an NG tube is not a sterile technique because it goes in your stomach that already has so much bacteria in it. So this is a sterile technique. You have to gown up and it's very step by step. You need to open this paper from this corner and don't touch anything else. You need to open this next in this exact order and put this on this hand first, put this on this hand first, like step by step, like cannot touch anything and no one else can help you because you're the only person that's sterile. So basically she just told me everything and we go in. <laughs> it's an older man, um, he was really sweet. And he was just in so much pain, I felt so bad. He was like, dude, like, I like I need some relief. Like, I cannot pee, it's been so long. Like, get the shit done. So basically, I did the whole sterile technique and you take his wee wee, bruh, and you gotta pull back all the skin, <laughs> expose the hole. And like, at first it was weird, like, being exposed. Like, I remember when I was a tech for a little bit, <clears throat> I also had to leave that job, by the way, because it was too much overnight overnight weekend shifts I, does not work for me in my schedule right now. I can't do it. So as a tech, I saw like my first penis and I was like, oh my God. And like now it's just like, it's our bodies. You know what I'm saying? Like you get over it really quick. So I pull his shit back and 
you know, I clean it with the iodine and then I stick this catheter and it's like, you guys, it was actually, it was the first time I actually seen a catheter and it was pretty thick and it, it was flexible and it was rubber, but like it was, it was literally like a straw, like a Chick-fil-A straw, <laughs> like that kind of like width. And like, so she's like, okay, just put it in, advance it. Like you put lubricant on it and it actually went in really easily. Like, and the patient wasn't like, he wasn't fussing or anything crazy. So I was like, okay. So I just, she's like, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> now let me tell you, let me tell you, she told me beforehand, she said, this guy's on heparin, which means that your blood is thin so that if you do get a cut, you will most likely just keep bleeding because you don't have any clotting factors to your blood. That's what heparin does, it makes your blood thin. So you avoid clots in your body, but if you do get a cut or have any bleeding, it won't coagulate on its own. So he's on heparin, which makes blood thin, like I said a thousand times. <laughs> and with the male anatomy, there's a prostate that surrounds the urethra of the bladder that's like a little donut. Now as you get older, um, it gets larger and kind of just like squishes on your urethra, which is like your pee hole. <laughs> I'm explaining this, like I'm trying to explain this as well as I can to anyone that's not in nursing school. She was like, you know, if you feel any, you should feel a little bit of resistance, but if you feel any like hard resistance, I do not want you to rupture anything because this man will bleed out and die. I was like, why are you, like, I understand, but like, miss girl, <laughs> I'm already nervous. So listen, we advance the catheter, we're in, period. So as it's draining and draining and draining and draining, you guys, it comes with this bin that you let it drain into and it's about one liter, one full liter, a liter. I forget how much resi like how much urine is like normal. I think it's like 120. I know 30 milliliters per hour is like, kind of like the minimum that you're supposed to do. I can't remember how much urine you're supposed to have, but a liter is a fucking lot. So he is just draining and draining and draining. So we fill up the whole entire container and she was like, okay, um, we're gonna have to grab something else to fill because this is too much. So we grab something else to fill like a little beaker container. We start draining it into this one, but we notice that it's cloudy. The urine is supposed to be, you know, clear yellow. It can be like dark yellow if you're dehydrated or like clear if you're really hydrated. But some signs that you don't want to see in urine are cloudiness or super dark or like amber or what else? Just like not enough. Like there's a lot of things that you're looking for in urine. It should just be clear, yellow, and a good amount. So towards the end, it starts looking cloudy, which indicates pus, which indicates infection. Also, it was red towards the end. It was like pink tinged, which indicates hematuria, which means there's bleeding somewhere, either in the kidneys or the nephrons or in the bladder or somewhere. So when I saw, she looks at me and she looked at the thing and she was like, is that? And she just said, is that? And I was like, my heart sank because I thought like she was looking at the pink tinge and was like, oh, he's bleeding. Like you literally ruptured his fucking prostate <laughs> and now he's gonna bleed out and fucking die. So my heart sank and I'm just staring at her. I'm fully gowned up, have my face shield on. I have my masks on. I have my full gown on, I have gloves on. So I, she could just see it. She could just see it in my body language and everything. <laughs> but she like froze me in that moment. I was like, Miss girl, like, did I do something? Did I do something? Did I do something? And I was like, what? Like, what? And like, obviously you want to keep your cool in front of the fucking patient. You don't want to freak them out. So we're kind of just looking at each other. And I'm like, what are you telling me? <laughs> and she's like, mm, what are you telling me? And I was like, hmm. Um, she's like, I think this looks like pus. And I was like, okay. Cause I thought she was talking about the blood. And I was like, okay, I think this looks like pus. So she's like, I think he has a UTI. And I was like, okay. Um, I think so too because, and I was like, it's also pink tinged. So I'm thinking it's probably been there for a while. And he was also said he was in pain, like I said. Oh my God, I'm freezing because the AC is on. <gasps> and I'm like getting anxiety talking about the story, right? <laughs> yeah, she's like, let me go tell his nurse because UTIs are not something to play around with, especially like that long, especially because you don't know how long it's been there. And he's been having a lot of residual urine. It's probably why they don't really, they don't empty him that much, as much as they should. So anyway, the nurse is like, no, we're fine. Like, you don't have to test it. Like, just dump it out. And she was sick about it. Cause she's like, I know this is a UTI and it wasn't her patient. So it's not like she can make decisions for him anyway. 
So she was like, okay, well they said just throw it out, so we'll just let them know what, the, what we saw. And like, we literally know he has a UTI, which sucks because he should be treated for it. So we ended up dumping 1,100 milliliters of urine, you guys. That's so much pee. It smelled too, that's another thing. Smell, that's the other thing. Okay, I was like, what is the other thing for urine you're looking for is odor. It should smell like normal piss. You know what piss smells like. It has, you know, some good days, some bad days, but it shouldn't smell like righteous. It was smelling righteous. We were dumping in the toilet and I was like, whoo, whoo. <laughs> so yeah, then she's like, okay, we're gonna remove it now. And he was like, okay, three, two, one, deep breath. And I just like pulled, obviously you don't want to damage anything. So I just pulled it out threw it away I was like sit I was like mister do you need anything else like I literally just saved your life like <laughs> do you need me to get you water or something like are you good would it like you know what I'm saying like give me a high five miss girl no I was so like after that I was like oh my god I'm so happy that I did it <laughs> and there was another new nurse on the floor her name's Shannon she was so sweet I've been seeing her the past couple of weeks on this floor and she just graduated in May so she's still a new nurse. She's like six months, she's still training. And I'm pretty sure you train, train for a year or two as like a new nurse. It's so dark, you guys. Like it's pitch black. It's kind of scary. There's no cars at all behind me. It's like pitch black, I'm scared. So anyway, um, she's like, trust me, whatever experience you can get in clinical, do it. Because all the rest, you're gonna find out on your own with a freaking nursing pre preceptor, like watching you. And that's probably even worse because you're actually certified and have a degree at this point. So like now it's like they expect it from students. So do whatever you can. I'm, it's just moments like that that give you like the good little rush and you're like, yeah. Just sparks a little fire in you. And I've been studying a lot. So I feel like really in tune with like my nursing side right now. Sometimes I feel like a full time like fucking social media guru. And then some other times I feel like a full ass fucking nursing nerd. And that's me right now, I'm in my scrubs. I don't care what I look like, I got my, I got no makeup on, my hair is in a little crusty ponytail. And then sometimes I feel like the baddest bitch in that world where it's like, I got the full lashes on, I got the full fit on, you know what I'm saying? So I got, I got two identities. And also I go by my first name in school and clinical, which is honesty, if you guys don't know, that's my first name. I go by Monet, which is my middle name and like my social life. So, you know, I'm living like Hannah Montana or whatever, so. With this adrenaline rush, I decided that I'm gonna chill tonight. I was gonna do my makeup, but I'm actually just gonna do two makeup looks tomorrow. I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed my little clinical talk because I love when I have a good story to tell. Like, chilling tonight. I'm gonna catch up on all my YouTube and then I'm gonna be up early again tomorrow. I'm gonna film a makeup therapy and then we'll meet my dad. Good morning. I love this setup. I thought my boobs were out. <laughs> Doesn't the skim set look like I'm naked? Um, your girl went to bed at like 10.30 last night. Woke up at 8.15 this morning. Period. It is Wednesday. Um, I had the worst heartburn. Like acid reflux, like GERD last night in my sleep. I'm so confused. Like, I, first of all, do you ever have like, do you ever go to sleep and like, you're like, it's like lucid dreaming. Like I kept dreaming that I was at clinical. Like we just kept talking about clinical. And I was trying to sleep and like I would just turn and I'm like, why am I still at clinical? Like can I just go to fucking sleep? Like for like the whole night. The whole night I would like wake up from this fucking spicy ass in my throat. Oh my gosh, that's the worst feeling. Like if anyone else is dealing with like heartburn, this is like my second time ever experiencing it. First time I ever experienced it was my New York vlog. Well no, the weekly vlog when I went to New York for 24 hours. I had spicy margaritas the night before. And they were spicy as fuck and I had three of them so like I already knew what the reason was but this time I'm like what was the reason the only thing I can think of because I eat the same fucking thing every day oh it's so oh it's just so uncomfortable oh and it's like not going away I've been up for like an hour and a half now so maybe hopefully I took some antacids like Tums to neutralize you know the stomach acids and shit <laughs> Um, the only thing I can think of is that I had these sour gummy bears yesterday for like at dinner and they really weren't that good and they were really fucking sour and I don't really like sour shit anyway so I don't even know why I ate like half the bag I was like nervously eating for some reason I don't know <laughs> so that's probably the reason but oh my gosh it that's like the like it literally would wake me up and I'm like holy shit 
and then I would like chug half my water trying to get the shit down because like I feel like that's the only thing like if anyone else experiences that this is the second time in my life I've experienced it and it fucking sucks so people who have GERD and like literally have this shit for like or heartburn during pregnancy and just like in general oh my gosh so I'm going through all my social media stuff right now because I'm trying to get that in line so one of the steps I had to do was give access like one of these brands access to like my insights and stuff on instagram and stuff and they want me they want they're telling me to toggle full control to manage my page control the page and connected instagram account settings and permissions perform any action on the page view all page activity and performance and manage page roles and then also want me access to my content create manage or delete posts stories and more as the instagram account I'm like, there is no reason that any brand should have that much access over my accounts. Holy shit. My management doesn't even have that access. <laughs> mm, red flags. Red flags. So I'm kind of done with the medias this morning. I think. Not really. I want to pick up my outfit for today. So the agenda, we're going to see my dad. <sighs> and we're going to get dumplings. And I'm going to leave at like 11.30. So it's currently like 9.30 in the morning. I already have a vision of what I want to wear because... These are the Princess Polly pants, and I feel like these would be perfect, like, oh, I just feel like this is a good, like, dad outfit, like, going to hang out with my dad. <laughs> so I'm going to wear those jeans, and then, oh, I think I'm going to wear some, I think I'm going to wear the Princess Polly sweater. So I was either going to wear my Skims turtleneck, the black skinny tight one. Should I wear that, actually? I feel like that would look better. Because it was between that one or, did I even hang it up? So this turtleneck, which is like cropped, it's flowy, and I feel like this would look cute with the jeans because it shows a little bit of belly, and like, this is just a cute turtleneck anyway. Or, here's the same sweater from Princess Polly, but it's like this, this color. So I figured that would be a nice change, like the jeans with this, it would still match really nice, and then my makeup look is going to be um, really pretty. I'm like really excited, I'm going to use Pat McGrath stuff. <gasps> Okay, we in the closet. <laughs> I feel like this would tie in like I'm gonna do a pink lip with the gloss, the Pat McGrath lip gloss. <gasps> I like tried it like right when I opened the package like Monday night and it was it's like the most beautiful gloss. I've heard so many things like I've heard so many things about the glosses, but I didn't understand until I fucking had one. I was like, oh my god, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So with that being said. My vision is like, I feel like if I wear a sweater, whenever I wear a turtleneck, I want to wear a dark brown matte lip. But then also I don't want to do too much because I'm just going to go see my dad. And like usually with dads, it's like, they're like, you don't need any of that makeup. You shouldn't have to do all of this. Da, 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 da. And they just think you're more beautiful just naturally. Even though you look, even though I look like this, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I'm, I'm doing, okay. This is, I'm just thinking out loud. Okay. <laughs> I'm also thinking of what I want to wear in the video. Because even if I don't actually wear this out, I feel like for the aesthetic of the video, because for my TikTok videos, whenever I do like makeup therapy or I do any kind of like makeup shots, oh, let me charge my lights. Oh my gosh. I knew this was going to happen. Um, you guys, my, my lights I used. So whenever I film a makeup TikTok, it is almost always 30 minutes long on my phone. Isn't that crazy? My phone holds that much storage. Um, so it's usually 30 minutes long and then I'll edit it down to three minutes of like the best parts. So my lights, like, they have to be on for 30 minutes, and for some reason they're both fully charged still, and I've recorded two 30-minute videos with my lights on. But they go up to 100%, and I usually keep them at, like, 10% brightness because they're so bright. Okay, that was a good surprise. I feel like I'm giving you a lot of tea. I'm giving you a lot of tea this video. This is really, like, a behind-the-scenes of my life and how I think. <laughs> for the aesthetics of the video, I don't know if I want to wear a turtleneck because it it just makes me feel suffocated looking at someone with the turtleneck on. <laughs> this is one of my OG turtlenecks. It's like a low-key one. I might wear this one for the video. We'll see. So I'm between the skims and then like the other black turtleneck. And I'm probably going to wear my Converse just to keep it, you know, tomboy casual to go hang with my dad. And I think I'm going to wear a bun. I'm also thinking of what other videos I want to film this week because I think for weekly vlogs I'm going to do every other week because it just takes too long to edit. And like deliver by the same Sunday, like I can't do that. 
I can't really tell in the viewfinder how it's looking. It doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look horrible. Put in my hair. I think, okay. So anyway. What? <laughs> ah! Ah! I feel like I'm everywhere. 11 minutes? Okay. <sighs> Whoa. 11 minutes already? What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, hell no. The vlog camera is not picking up the justice of this makeup right now. Oh, hell no. It looks so much better on my phone. <gasps> Ew! <gasps> I love this makeup look. One, I love these lashes. Two, the eye is so bright. Like, the eyeshadow. I never do eyeshadow. Love the gloss. Like, I put the, the eyeshadow as highlight, so it's, like, extra. <laughs> I was trying to keep it low-key, but, you know, I can't do that. I'm excited to see how my dad acts in front of the camera. <laughs> Cause you know, dads usually aren't that like that. They're not like that. Even my mom took a while to like adjust for her to be comfortable. And I don't think she's even fully comfortable around the camera, but this is what we're working with right now. I think I'm gonna wear this. I don't really think it's that deep. Monet is really not that deep. The pants on, they fit. This was the pair of pants that was too small. I think I'm going to just put it in the same bag and then I'm going to go to UPS on the way back and then just have them print a shipping label for me and send this back. This is my first time ever in my life returning something. I saw a tweet. It was like, y'all return stuff. I just graciously take the L for real. Like if I order something and it's not like I'm not going out of my way to return it and like we'll get a refund. It's just the L. You got to take the L. You got to take the L. <laughs> So this is my first time just because they asked. They were like, okay, we'll send you the, the right pair. Just send back like the pair that didn't fit. Ooh, 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 Miss McGrath with the gloss, you guys. Like, Please, can you just whip out a whole contraption? A whole one, I gotta show them. Look who I'm with. Who? The dude. This is the this is the YouTube appearance. I was gassing you up all the way. You can't have your You gotta keep it real. Yo, Dad, put me on this, please. This is Dim Sum Garden in Philly. What we got right here? Some spicy soup dumplings. Period. I'm leaving with at least ten of these. These are shrimp ones that I didn't try yet. And you got that wonton soup with the chili. You don't want to play with it. Right, that's right. This is about to go down. Anything you want to say to the vlog? This is probably your one and only appearance yeah, for the next year. <laughs> Good about it. I'm ready. That's that guy, though. Oh. Oh. He take pride in his socks, y'all. And the shirt. Mr. Boston Coach. Mr. CEO. <laughs> who, do I, who do I look more like? Mom. Mom or dad? Mom. Am I on the street? Oh no, one more. Okay, I'm back. I'm back home. You can see my face is off. I just filmed the makeup removing campaign, period. That one was easy. Now I'm on to the next one. Oh my gosh. I'm just like really excited to be ticking off the list. And also I'm really excited to film this one. So what I need to do is pick out a TikTok song. And I actually, it has to be more than 30 seconds because a lot of the trendy songs are like 10 seconds, literally. So I picked one. And this is what I do. Whenever I'm filming something with a sound that I actually have to like lip sync to, you guys, I don't film in TikTok. I don't, there's so many times in the beginning when I lost my footage and you can't edit on TikTok. Like you have no control. Literally what you record is what it is and you can't, tr you can't there's literally no freedom there. So I always film in my camera roll. I'll edit and video leap. So what I do is like save the sound that I want and I'll just overlay it and I'll just pick which clip that I like of me lip syncing. It's hard to explain, but I don't do my shit on TikTok. So I have my mom's phone and I sent her the sound that I want. So basically I'm gonna record on my phone, me doing the transition. So it's gonna be the transition where like you just turn your head and then you turn your head and it just like your head keeps spinning but like you're doing your makeup at the same time. So it's gonna be fun. So this is the song I'm doing. I love that song. Hopefully copyright literally flags that one second I played. <laughs> so what I do now is I have my handy dandy content notebook. And I'm gonna write the lyrics. 
I really like to party first one so that first clip is gonna be me brows and I need to line it up so it's perfectly that my face is done by the end like I have to make sure that like because what happens when I run out of lyrics and I'm not done my face yet do you know what I'm saying so you gotta you gotta so the first sentence <laughs> So now that I have the lyrics down, I'm going to clarify which products I need to focus on. Four play eye quads. So here are the makeup. So these are the quads we're working with. They look really nice though. I think I'm definitely gonna use the black in here. Maybe I'll do a smoky wing. Oh my gosh, look, these had some lip liners. <gasps> so for the lipstick, I think I'm going to do this chocolate brown. This is the color, ultra suede lipsticks. So we have Fonda. Really pretty. We have Garth. Really pretty. I think this is the one I'm gonna go with. We have Maurice. This is like the chocolatiest brown. Oh, these are so hard to choose from. This is Nicole. Holy shit. So I don't actually don't know. Honestly, this one can go. I feel like my heart wants to go with this one because it's like a flat brown. So this is what it would look like together. I think these will be pretty. I think these will be pretty. This is Garth. I'm gonna go with Garth. Okay, I think I got it figured out. I'm giving the rock. I'm giving the rock. Anytime I wear a black turtleneck <laughs> and the chain is out, I just, I wanna keep this chain out though. Should I put it away? Should I just keep it clean? I don't know. I'm giving the rock. This is the bun I'm doing. Ugh, I'm like not fully sold in the bun, but my hair is like not done. This is why I just like to blow dry my hair like twice a week so I can just have it done and not have to like worry about shit like this. I think when the makeup's done, I'll feel better. So I have everything laid out. All the products in the exact order that I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna film it now. I'll, so I'll see you guys after. Hopefully the makeup looks bomb. <sighs> I'm obsessed with this lip. I'm so happy I went with this one. And I even really like the eyeshadow. I don't do eyeshadow like that, but I feel great. I like how this turned out. I feel, I feel really pretty. But halfway through, halfway, th th Halfway through, I realized I think I was lip syncing wrong because right when I would turn my head, it's like, take me to the par. So you'd be like, par, T, but I said, party. Versus I'm gonna say, like, par, party. Do you know what I'm saying? I really hope I didn't fuck that all up because I really don't wanna do this again. And I actually, like, don't have time to do it again. It's due tomorrow, so. <sighs>
so this is what my morning consists of i've actually been waking up at like eight in the morning all week and it really hasn't been hurting like that like i just been going to bed early because the sun be going down early and i feel like i'm tired as fuck already the sun sets at 4 50. so when that sun goes down i'm like Ugh. i've been proud of myself what time is it it's like 9 30. i'm already an hour into my notes um i just need my coffee Honestly, the pumpkin creamer is not giving. Pumpkin spice, I was really excited to have like just some excitement in the little parts of your life. You know what I'm saying? I was really excited about that. The hazelnut sugar is not giving. It tastes like good coffee, but it's not giving me any flavor that I need. If y'all recommend any good like creamers, let me know because Coffee Mate is literally like the biggest fucking creamer brand it's not giving at all. So today... What are we doing? We're taking psych notes. This should actually not take that long because I have two chapters. The first chapter is only 20 pages. What? Most of the chapters are like 50 to like 70 pages, y'all. It takes so fucking long. This one's only 20 pages, so that's the first chapter. The second chapter is personality disorder, which is probably going to take me actually like... Let me just see how many pages it is because now that I think about it, I'm scared. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so it goes from 62 to 90. 62 to 90. That's so about like 30. Is that 30 pages? So these are short fucking chapters. Period. That's what I like to see. So I'm going to read both of these chapters. I'm going to take notes on them. That's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to watch the recorded lectures, which are like 20 minutes or something long. So after I'm done with psych, I'm going to study for the test on Monday one more time for this week. I have one content requirement I have to do today. I'm going to film for a brand and then I have to edit and deliver it by tomorrow 5 p.m. So I can do that between whatever time. And I'm also going to film a shower essentials for youtube this sunday because this vlog is not going to be up in time let me tell y'all because i think it finally clicked for me that i'm gonna do weekly vlogs starting monday i'm gonna go monday to sunday no does that even work i think i'm gonna go monday to sunday and upload on wednesday no that doesn't work oh i'm trying to figure out maybe i'll do saturday to friday so then it gives me the weekend to edit i don't know i'm trying to figure it out because I started this vlog last Thursday, so I should have ended it yesterday. It should be seven days. So today is a full school day. I'll just be here slaving away. I'll touch base at some point in the day. I don't know. I don't know what we'll be really up to that's interesting. So I'll see you guys. We're in the trenches, y'all. It's 5.30. I have... I literally did not stop all day. I had lunch and that was it. I'm fried. My brain is fried. <laughs> I'm not even like close to getting any of my shit done for the week. Why is everything like this this week? It's crazy. And my friends are literally entertaining the idea of going out tonight. I think I might do tonight and then skip tomorrow and then maybe do Saturday. But then if we go out tonight, I'm ending the vlog here. I think I'm ending the vlog here this week. <laughs> I can't even like, you know, like when you're so fucking out of it that like your eyes won't even focus. Like my eyes just keep like, they won't focus. They just like want to just, <laughs> they just want to go cockeyed. I can't even like think of what I want to say. I just feel so cracked out right now. I don't even know what I'm vlogging for, you guys. Um, This is the first week where I'm like, uh, one of them has to give. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now, actually. I feel like vlogging right now is making me more stressed because I feel like I should tell you something and I actually don't. It's making me realize how much I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go make dinner. I'm gonna eat something because I'm starving and I'm gonna hydrate. Hey, besties. <laughs> so I just filmed for the Pure Lease campaign. You cannot tell me this isn't one of the best makeup looks I've done. It's giving no makeup, makeup. I just feel so pretty i feel like with the hair like this makes me feel like i'm like not wearing makeup is the lash lifting though the lash is lifting mayday mayday 
We didn't even go out yet and the lash is lifting. Oh, hell no, child. Hey, Sloan. <laughs> so I'm going out for the night. I feel so much better. I talked to mom. I talked to Gabriel. I feel like I got my rant off my chest. Honestly, ranting to someone is very... I might have to look into a therapist because it might be toxic for mom and Gabriel just to absorb all of my energy all the time. <laughs> but this is the look for tonight. I probably won't bring the camera. I'm just going to bring my phone and just get any clips. I don't know how I'm continuing this vlog. At this point, I might end it tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much more time is left in the video at this point. Like, you know. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually wearing the same pants I wore when I went to see dad. Um, but with this white shirt, I feel like it looks cute. I don't like how the shirt's moving. I feel like it's too obvious. It's kind of big, but I gotta give them casual, you know, can't be doing too much at the local bar. So I think I'm gonna pack my black crocodile purse. That's why I'm not bringing the vlog camera either because it won't fit in there. So I'm gonna put my rings on. Let me not forget that. I see lighting feels good as Oh wait, this is for the vlog. This is for the weekly vlog because I didn't bring my camera. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, the girls are really good. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, come on! Come on. <laughs> We looking bald, bitch. I don't know what's in the fridge right now, but I'ma go fuck up some food. I don't know what kind of food we gotta eat, but. The club closed at two. I left at like one. I was bored. All my friends were acting booed up. I was like, mm. And then that left some, why am I bald? My friends were blew up, so then some men tried to be like, hey, and I'm like, no, it's not that time of night. I don't want to talk to any men. I was like, mm, I'm here for my girls. Like, like you got a boyfriend? I'm like, me, I'm taking care of myself. Like, I'm good. Yo, there's this tag on Instagram where it's like, share your favorite, like your, your comfort influencer. And some people are posting me. I'm like, it makes me so happy. I can't believe that I'm that for people because I am that girl. I grew up on YouTube. There's so many people that I look up to and that are my comfort influencers. And I can't believe that I'm on anyone's radar to be that for them already is crazy because i know how important that is to me and how special it is for me and like whenever i see my comfort influencers post i'm like i'm like yay i can have something good to watch before i go to bed and like i'm that for some people it's so weird to think about i have so much shit to do tomorrow i don't know if i can talk about this product yet because they changed the release date. Oh, you guys are seeing it here first. This is like hands down the best makeup remover ever that I have ever used. I don't know if you guys just saw, but it just took my whole face and makeup off in about five seconds. I mean, that just took off like 99% of my makeup. Now all I'm going to do is just wash my face instead of like washing the makeup off with the cleanser. It's very good. The real concern is I need to put my skincare on. What the? Is that a booger? <laughs> then we're gonna go to the kitchen and see what's cooking, Miss Gary. Ew, I just cringe because I just I thought about it. Someone asked me about this necklace and I said they can use my code. I was like, yes, I love it. Like, this is my favorite jewelry brand. Like, it's really good stuff. Like, I promise. And I was like, if you want, you can use my code. 
Why did I say that? <laughs> Let's put pajamas on. My skins. Wait, these are so fucking good. I'm good on that. This is a fresh bag too. Okay, mama, I see you. I know it's the best when you oven, like toaster oven these, but I'm microwaving because I don't got time for that. The question is, what am I watching? And also, <laughs> I'm gonna do like four. I probably should do three. Cause you think that four is not a lot. I'm gonna get this long one. <laughs> Am I ending this vlog here? I feel like it's wrong to end it drunk. <laughs> I feel like it's a bad word. Why did I feel like it's a bad word? Like I'm 21. It's legal, like nothing's wrong here. It's just funny. Cause my hair making Tyson chicken streets. You did I did I wash my whole hair when I was washing my face? <laughs> I think this is a funny ass time to end the vlog. I hope you guys had fun in this vlog. I know it was a lot of work, a lot of me complaining. I don't like doing those things. It was a very new feeling for me this week. I hope you could just go along the journey with me and understand what I was going through. It's all about adjusting. It's all about adjusting and you'll be okay it's okay to feel your feelings i'm just vocalizing them with you i did have fun this week i'm very grateful every day that i can have fun in the things that i do honestly it's considered work but it's a blessing and i'm grateful <laughs> and i'm excited to eat these chicken strips right now girl you don't even know I'm glad I went out tonight. It was good seeing my friends. Um, the DJ was bussing. The DJ was bussing, y'all. I'm excited for the next vlog. I really like making vlogs. I met some of you guys tonight. Like, it's so crazy. I had fun this week, though. What was your favorite part? I don't even remember when I started this. Like, we went out to dinner with mom. Then we had a stressful last week. That's basically what it was. So... Just want you to know you're not alone if you're stressed and if you're going through things and it's okay. This clip is 20 minutes long. What the hell am I talking about? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next vlog. I hope you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe.